The Ministry of Defense is charged with coordinating and supervising all agencies and functions of the government relating directly to national security and the Indian Armed Forces. The ministry has the largest budget among the federal departments of India and currently maintains fifth in military expenditure. Among countries of the world, the President of India is the ceremonial commander in chief of the armed forces of the country. The Ministry of Defence provides policy framework and resources to the armed forces to discharge their responsibility in the context of the defence of the country. The Indian Armed Forces including Indian Army, Indian Air Force, Indian Navy and Indian Coast Guard under the Ministry of Defences are primarily responsible for ensuring the territorial integrity of the nation. At present, the undergoing new creation of National Defence University, for training of military officials and concerned civilian officials, will be administered and overseen by Ministry of Defence. The ministry organizes and runs Republic Day celebrations and parade every year in January, hosting a chief guest. History Origin <inaudible> 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 A military department was created by the Supreme Government of the British East India Company at Kolkata in the year 1776. Its main function was to coordinate and record orders, relating to the army, issued by various departments of the Government of the East India Company. The military department initially functioned as a branch of the public department and maintained a list of army personnel. With the Charter Act 1833, the Secretariat of the Government of the East India Company was reorganized into four departments, each headed by a secretary to the government. The armies in the presidencies of Bengal, Bombay, and Madras functioned as the respective presidency armies until April 1895, when the presidency armies were unified into a single Indian army. For administrative convenience, it was divided into four commands, Punjab including the northwest frontier, Bengal including Burma, Madras and Bombay including Sindh, Kedah and Aden. The supreme authority over the Indian Army was vested in the Governor-General in Council, subject to the control of the Crown, which was exercised by the Secretary of State for India. Two members in the Council were responsible for military affairs. One was the military member, who supervised all administrative and financial matters. The other was the commander-in-chief who was responsible for all operational matters. The military department was abolished in March 1906 and was replaced by two separate departments, the Army Department and the Military Supply Department. In April 1909 the Military Supply Department was abolished and its functions were taken over by the Army Department. The Army Department was redesignated as the Defense Department in January 1938. The Department of Defense became the Ministry of Defense under a cabinet minister in August 1947. Topic: <laughs> Post Independence's changes. The functions of MOD, which in 1947 was mainly logistic support to the armed forces, has undergone far-reaching changes. In November 1962, following the 1962 war, a Department of Defense production was set up to deal with research, development and production of defense equipment. In November 1965, the Department of Defense supplies was created for planning and execution of schemes for import substitution of requirements for defense purposes. These two departments were later merged to form the Department of Defense production and supplies. In 1980, the Department of Defense Research and Development was created. In January 2004, the Department of Defense Production and Supplies was renamed the Department of Defense Production. A scientific advisor to the Defense Minister was appointed to advise on scientific aspects of military equipment and the research and design of Defense Forces equipment. The Department of Ex-Servicemen Welfare was created in 2004. Organization Departments The Ministry of Defense consists of four departments, Department of Defense, Department of Defense Production, Department of Defense Research and Development, and Department of Ex-Servicemen Welfare. 
The Defense Secretary functions as head of the Department of Defense, and is additionally responsible for coordinating the activities of the four departments in the ministry. The principal functions of all the departments are as follows. The Department of Defense, headed by the Defense Secretary, the department deals with the Integrated Defense Staff, the three services, the Indian Coast Guard, the paramilitary forces and various inter-service organizations. It is also responsible for the defense budget, establishment matters, defense policy, matters relating to the parliament, defense cooperation with foreign countries and coordination of all activities. The Department of Defense Production, headed by the Defense Production Secretary, the department was set up in November 1962 and is responsible for matters pertaining to defense production, planning and control of departmental production units of the Ordnance Factories Board, indigenization of imported stores equipment and spares, and for defense public sector undertakings HAL, BEL, BEML, BDL, MDL, GSL, GRSE, Midhani. The Department of Defense Research and Development, headed by the Defense Research and Development Secretary and ex officio chairperson of Defense Research and Development Organization, the department was formed in 1958, after the three way merger of Technical Development Establishment of the Indian Army and the Directorate of Technical Development and Production and the Defense Science Organization. The department is responsible for the Defense Research Development Organization. The Department of Ex-Servicemen Welfare DESW, headed by the Ex-Servicemen Welfare Secretary, the department was set up in 2004 to look after veteran affairs. The Directorate General of Resettlement, the Kendriya Sonic Welfare Board and Ex-Servicemen Contributory Health Scheme come under the purview of DESW. <laughs> Universities and institutes Institute for Defense Studies and Analyses, Defense Institute of Advanced Technology, Defense Institute of Psychological Research and National Defense University come under administration and purview of the Ministry of Defense. Inter-services organizations Integrated Defense Staff To ensure a high degree of synergy between the armed forces, the government has set up the Integrated Defense Staff, headed by the Chief of Integrated Staff as the chairman. It was created on 1 October 2001 based on the recommendations of the group of ministers which was set up in 2000 to review India's defense management. It acts as the point organization for integration of policy, doctrine, war fighting and procurement by employing best management practices. The current Chief of Integrated Defense Staff is Lt. Gen. P. S. Rajeshwar, who took over on 1 November 2018. <laughs> Chiefs of Staff Committee Chiefs of Staff are the authority for advising the Defense Minister and normally through him the Cabinet Committee on Political Affairs on all military matters which require ministerial consideration." The Integrated Defense Staff is, "...the principal arm and secretariat to the Chiefs of Staff Committee." <laughs> Composition the Chiefs of Staff Committee is composed of a Chief of the Army Staff COAS, B Chief of the Naval Staff CNS, C Chief of the Air Staff CAS, and D Chief of Integrated Defense Staff CIDS non-voting member. The scientific advisor to the Minister of Defense is invited to attend whenever needed. The senior most member of the COSC is appointed its chairperson. Admiral Sunil Lanba is the current head of COSC. Topic. Strategic Information Services – Tactical Intelligence Division CIS – TID is a highly classified division within the walls of Ministry of Defence under the Government of India. Very limited information is available for this division. Topic. Role The responsibility for national defence 
rests with the Cabinet, which is discharged through the Ministry of Defence, which provides the policy framework and wherewithal to the armed forces to discharge their responsibilities in the context of the defence of the country. The Ruksha Mantri defense minister is the head of the Ministry of Defence. The Defence Ministry is responsible for "...obtaining policy directions of the government on all defence and security related matters." and communicating these directions to services headquarters, inter-services organizations, production establishments and research and development organizations." The MOD works closely with the National Security Council, Ministry of External Affairs and the Ministry of Home Affairs. <laughs> <laughs> Ministers MOD is headed by the Minister of Defense, who is supported by one, or more than one, Minister of State. <inaudible> <inaudible> Senior officials There are about 400,000 defense civilians, under the MOD including Ministry of Finance personnel attached to MOD. In 2015-16 defense pension bill was 54500 crore rupees equivalent to 560 billion rupees or 7.8 billion dollars in 2017 of which about 36% was on account of defense civilians 66 topic <laughs> <laughs> defense secretary other senior officials and scientific advisor to defense minister The ministers are supported by a number of civilian, scientific and military advisors. The Defense Secretary as head of the Department of Defense, is the senior most civil servant in the ministry and is responsible for coordinating the activities of the four departments in the ministry. His or her role is to ensure that the MOD operates effectively as a department of the government. Defense Secretary is assisted by additional secretaries and joint secretaries to Government of India posted in the ministry. The Defence Secretary, generally is an officer from the Indian Administrative Service, apart from the Defence Secretary, there are three other secretary-level posts in the Ministry of Defence. Scientific Advisor to Defence Minister plays a key role in formulation of research and development policies and promoting self-reliance in Indian defence industries. <laughs> Civil services under MOD Topic. Finance Division The Finance Division of the Ministry of Defence is headed by the Financial Advisor Defense Services. He or she exercises financial control over proposals involving expenditure from the defence budget and is responsible for the internal audit and accounting of defence expenditure. In the latter tasks, he or she is assisted by the Controller General of Defence Accounts. Topic. Chiefs of the Tri Services In 1955, the title of Commander in Chief was abolished and the three service chiefs were designated as the Chief of the Army Staff, the Chief of the Naval Staff, and the Chief of the Air Staff. The heads of the three services of Indian Armed Forces are Chief of the Army Staff General Bipin Rawat, Chief of the Naval Staff Admiral Sunil Lanba. Chief of the Air Staff — Air Chief Marshal Barender Singh Danoa. <inaudible> Vice Chiefs of the Tri Services Vice Chief of the Army Staff — Lieutenant General Devraj Anbu Vice Chief of the Naval Staff — Vice Admiral Ajit Kumar Vice Chief of the Air Staff — Air Marshal Anil Khosla Topic. See also National Defence College India. Military Institute of Technology MILIT, Pune Defence Research and Development Organisation Indian Naval Academy